we are in the time of alienation. We're at the peak of technological advancement. Where it's like our reality around this is being governed by algorithms and they're becoming more effective every given second, every given interaction. There's a disconnect in relation to the ethics and the philosophy of like what it is they're doing. But in our culture, we don't hold them, you know, necessarily accountable. This is Base 36 uh, in the Brooklyn setup of it. Um, I kind of just worked here as like a, this is like a studio space and like a middle ground. I mean, what we're seeing right here is the start of uh, this thesis of work that I've been working on, um, known as Melting Blues. And this is the initial vision, it's the introduction piece, and you have this abstracted landscape, and you can look out and you see this almost like sut in the skies. It's kind of like a, um, like a nuclear horizon, and Melting Blues explores like a lot of different themes, but one of them centers this piece is like, what happens when you essentially arrive to the threshold between moving towards technology in a transhumanism way or you know succumbing to the instruments that have led us to where we live in but we can leave it at that for now <laughs> uh, we'd be here for too long <laughs> The thing that was really different for me is that I wasn't fundamentally attracted to the arts for what maybe media displays the idea of the striking image of the artist. The melancholia has always been very present in my life and I don't see it going anywhere. I felt like there's ideas and things moving in a fashion uh, to where I couldn't tie them down per se directly with words. That's where then the artwork comes in because the paintings are more so just geared around my experience through like a perception. Um, as you can see from piece to piece, there's a large amount of stylized jumping around. It's like in a world where you can have access, uh, at least on the surface level, to every artistic movement that's ever occurred. So in that is like a final hurrah to like all the different ideas of, that were my idea of like modern mastery. As we go back, you see the tapping of the antenna and the sort of beam passing through. As it radiates out and then goes up into the top corner, you see like either like a black hole or like a new universe opening up. You don't know if this is like the end where you know everything's going to be entrapped and smothered and obliterated as the inevitable is for us as things in this universe. You don't know if we're going towards something that is like a productive future, if this is the end of the times. And um, a lot of these works read in that. Melting Blues is sort of the synthesis of like, uh, as an artist, reflecting where we are in reality, but also reflecting what it then means like to produce anything, or in general, just to exist in this space. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot that goes into things. <laughs> uh, but I do think like, well, that's all nice and colorful, like understand that a lot of this stuff is coming from a much more optimistic reading of the limits and kind of trying to create more of a harmony of things. I think over here we get more just like I feel like a contextual blueprint of um, what it is that I've been working on. Essentially if something goes wrong in the sort of digital space matrix whatever it is that we're building uh, it's a necessity to then come back into a physical form to do basic maintenance. So in this you have a figure stylized in that space that's become you know it's been woken up. There is maybe a uniqueness in how I do what I do, because a lot of this stuff is in spaces where we don't have the language for it. If someone were to do a dig on why I thought what I thought or like where I was going from, prior to this moment in time, I displayed it on my sleeve, right? I do completely show my hand all the way through this process. 
It's all about covering up <laughs> your footsteps. It's the only way you can even bring weight into the words you say now. The earlier works were more so in a space of coping with melancholy with a strong amount of optimism. The optimism is gone. The cynicism is here. And you start getting into the conversation of like, well, how do you make a difference? Or how do you change things?